Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Hub. Back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about the Houston Texans potentially trading for four time Pro Bowler and one time All Pro Stefan Diggs. In an article on Bleacher Report today, it was the which was titled Best Landing Spots for Stefan Diggs in a Potential Trade. One of the teams that was listed uh, were the Houston Texans, my favorite team. And uh, on every team, there was a trade package. I think it was the title might have been best trade packages for Stefan Diggs. I believe I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, the trade that was mentioned that the Houston Texans would acquire Stefan Diggs, we would send the 23rd overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, which is our first round pick. I have I would ha- I would have no problem getting rid of that pick, and also. The fourth a fourth round pick in this year's upcoming draft. Um, yeah, if the Bills are going to do this if they're willing to do this, which I'd have my doubts. I think even though they've had their rough, you know, their, their rough performances in the postseason. Look, it's I don't think it's I don't think there's a great chance they're going to re-sign Gabe Davis. I don't even know if they're going to want to bring him back. So. They would be losing if you trade away Diggs. I know you can bring in some other wide receivers through free agency or through the draft, and especially you'd have a couple first round picks if you make this trade with the Texans. You'd have the first round pick, uh, which is 23, and wherever the Bills' first round pick is going into the 2024 NFL draft, you'd have your chance to bring in other wide receivers. But I think with Josh Allen. I wouldn't if if I were the Bills, I wouldn't want to put him through what Patrick Mahomes has gone through. I know he has a talented guy like Rasheed Rice now, but you kind of you know look at Mahomes how his talent was kind of taken away, and it's crazy to talk about it when this guy is literally in the freaking Super Bowl this week. I mean, it is it's still the Super Bowl, and he's still in it. He has a great defense. I know he has a great weapon like Travis Kelsey, but you saw a weapon shipped away from Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill, and a couple other guys were taken taken away uh, from. Patrick Mahomes as well and I just really in my mind I think that I don't know if I see the Bills want to do that to uh, Josh Allen even though Stefan Diggs is very frustrated with what's going on in Buffalo and very well could ask for a trade um, I don't know I, I think it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in Buffalo this offseason with what they do with Diggs and you know some other things with the draft and free agency but if the Texans can go get Stefan Diggs, I'd really love to bring him in. I'd rather much bring I'd rather much bring in Stefan Diggs and bring in uh, Mike Evans. I love Mike Evans. I think he's extremely talented. I know he's a little bit older on the, you know, as for a wide receiver at 31 years old, but I even met him one time at a Rockets game. Um cool dude by the way. I mean, and he's from he's he's went to A&M from Galveston. Um one of my favorite players in the league. I just I don't know about paying someone twenty five to thirty million a year at the wide receiver p- position when we have a talented guy like Nico Collins. Like I have no problem bringing in a talented wide receiver uh, when we you know you know to add in to you know you know to add into Nico Collins and Tank Dell. I mean look at the I want to look at the look at the Eagles with you know, they had Devontae Smith and he was you know after his rookie season he was looking like a superstar and uh the eagles very well could have kept with the De- Devonte smith and that was basically what you know nico collins was like this year he had a great year um but uh i really think that for just just i really think that this offense could be better with another wide receiver i think such a talented quarterback like cj stroud the better I think the better wide receivers are the better. I think now that we know Bobby Sloak is returning as the offensive coordinator, I think even if the Texans bring in a, a running back in free agency, we've heard Saquon's name, we've heard other guys mention and link to the Texans. We've even heard maybe Devin Singletary re signing with the Texans. I still think this is uh, we all know this is gonna be a, a still this will still be a pass first offense, of course, but um I still think a majority of the Texans play calls will be uh, you know, pass plays. I mean, even if they were to bring a guy like Saquon Barkley, it's still 
uh, going to be getting the ball in C.J. Stroud's hand just like it was last year. Maybe a little bit less if you bring in a guy like Saquon Barkley because you're going to want to get the ball to him as well. It will probably be a little bit less than it was last year in Stroud's rookie year. But I think the more talented wide receivers with such a talented quarterback like you have in C.J. Stroud is the better. Um, I love Nico. I love Tank. But I think you could, I think you do so much better. And I think the better wide receiver core for such a talented quarterback like C.J. Stroud is, uh, would be great. I just my only thing is do the Bills trade him? And if the Bills trade him, I'm a hundred percent. If I were the Texans, I would a hundred percent get rid of that first round pick in the you know in the first round of this upcoming season, which is twenty third overall. Look, there's a good chance you might use that pick to draft on a first. Uh, sorry, there's a good chance you might use that first round pick in two thousand twenty four to get a wide receiver. Um, I'm sure there are other needs you might use. You might go to the defense might get a safety or a corner maybe you you know upgrade the offensive line maybe you get a defensive lineman i don't know but i'm telling you guys right now that one of the top positions that will be looked in that first round pick in this upcoming draft will be the wide receiver position so if you i know there's some there's gonna be some talented names that will be available at that pick 23 but there's nobody as talented as stefan diggs so you can just trade that pick and a fourth round pick to get Diggs. I would do it in a heartbeat if I were the Texans. And uh, Diggs, I know he had a little bit of a down year compared to you know the previous year. Still had a, th- I mean, this is crazy. I say he had a down year, and he still had a thousand. You know, he still had a thousand plus receiving yards. Thousand one hundred eighty three receiving yards. He kind of he really kind of finished the season with a with it was the finish this year with the. You know, it was a terrible struggle at the end of the year. Couldn't score a touchdown. Um, just wasn't going well for him. I mean, with the Bills, since he's been with the Bills, had a low in touchdowns. I mean, only eight touchdowns. And, I mean, you look at, you know, with the Bills in the past, I mean, uh, he did have eight touchdowns in 2020 with Buffalo, but uh, he played 16 games with only 15 starts in 2020 compared to 17 games and 17 starts with Buffalo in 2023. Um, But with Buffalo in the last four seasons, he's had 5,372 receiving yards. He's actually really near uh, 10,000 receiving yards. And if the Houston Texans, uh, if the Houston Texans acquired him, most likely in his first game as a Houston Texan, he would reach um, 10,000 receiving yards. Um, he's been great for Buffalo over the last four seasons, but it's looking like Buffalo might trade him. And if the Texans are there to get him, I would love it. I'd love to bring him in and add another weapon to you know CJ Stroud's offense with Nico and Tank. And another thing that would be great, you know, I'd, I'd hate to bring up injuries, but if God forbid, I know both guys have had some problems in the past. If anything were to happen to Nico or Tank. We'd have two elite wide receivers. Let's say something happened to Nico, we would have Tank and we'd have Tank and Diggs, two elite wide receivers. Um, or if something happened to Tank, we'd have Nico and Diggs. Um, and I think it'd be a lot better where you saw Tank Dell go down this season, and it was just Nico Collins. So there would be two elite guys if one goes down. So. Uh, I th- I really think this would be a great trade for the Texans, and if the Bills would do it, hundred percent do it. If you're the Texans, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and peace out, we go Texans.